You think we're going to beat all these games? Nope. Backlog Boys. No, probably not. Continue. Welcome back, everyone. We chose continue. We're gonna we're gonna finish off Team Rocket that guy looks here. Mean. Hopefully, this guy doesn't have a super scary Fine. team. Fine. He's reluctant to fight us. No, he's, like, he's not it's very a waste scary. Of time. He does have a Wobbuffet. Is that a problem? Uh, Wobbuffet good? Yeah, Wobbuffet's really well. Wobbuffet's really cheesy. There is basically only one move set for Wobbuffet. Okay. Like, it only learns four moves. Uh, and it's like this counter Wait. Pokemon. <laughs> His name's Wobbuffap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that joke has probably been made before. Yikes. Uh, so basically, I need to figure out how I would deal with Wobbuffet. Um, the best way to deal with Wobbuffet would be... If he does cheese us, I hope it's a nice pepper jack. A little smoky. <laughs> You know. Uh, we really don't have a good way to counter him other than roar, I guess, but we still have to kill him at some point. Right. Um, what I'm going to do... Let's see. Kefka's good against two. Bad against two. Excuse me. And then, yes, no. And then, let's get in their food. Africa is good against one, bad against one. Uh, it's pretty. What about Bruford? Bruford's good against one. He's not weak. He's not weak right. against any of them, so he's a good choice. But maybe not a good lead. Um, I guess a good way that I could beat Wobbuffet would be with Encore on Kefka. Mm. So I'm going to lead off with Kefka. Because we'd like to use him against three of these guys. And he could hold his own against pretty much any of them. Uh, we'll back up with Bruford. And then... I guess I could bring Africa. He's good against Houndoom and Persian. He's not weak against anybody except for Victory Bell. And my other two are good against Victory Bell. So, so that, yeah, let's try that. That's a good, good Seems strat. Seems like a good balance. Let's see if he leads off with Wobbuffet here. See if he's going to hinge his whole strategy on Wobbuffet. So with uh, Mario Maker, you essentially want to make a whole Mario game. Yes, that's what I wanted to do with the first Mario Maker game. Was it... Were the tools not extensive enough to kind of allow for that in the first one, or...? No, it wasn't that the tools weren't there. Uh, I just got busy. Mm -hmm. I, I, after making, like, 20-some levels... Because um, I had, like, I had, like, five worlds done. Because I was trying to make a one, four through 8-4. Mm -hmm. You know, 1-1 one, one through 8-4. Um, and 4 each. Right, 4 world. each. Yeah, I was trying to make 32 levels, and I and I had, f like, finished World 5. Um, and I was just kind of getting busy with other stuff, and, you know, it takes a lot of time, and you gotta have the ideas there. Um, and then there was also one of my levels got, like, deleted off of the server, mm. which kind of bummed me out. And it, it was because if your level sat for a certain amount of time and nobody beat it, they would take it down. Like it was too hard in their yeah, like determination, that, essentially. By that algorithm, it was supposed to be deemed as too hard, but really it was just because not a lot of people had played it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, he just threw out a sunny day, so I kind of want to bring in Bruford. Does that power up his? It powers up fire. Fire moves? Yeah. So he's probably going to try to use a fire move. Uh, and we have a light screen out. So if we can add not very effective to that. Oh, he's going to use crunch. That's not good. Good thing we have the light screen. And good thing that crunch is a special attack in this generation. 
Oh, um, I'm gonna see what. Maybe I'll just use return. Actually, that's more powerful than Iron Tail. No reason to use Iron Tail. See how that does. Ooh, that's that was good. Pretty good. That's good. Um, I kind of had this. I had this really good idea of um, essentially using Wargroove because there's this. It has like a few different versions of um, overworld map backgrounds. Sure. Um, like it has, you know, the made up world in which Wargroove takes place. Mm -hmm. And it has like a couple other fantasy map sort of layouts from like other series. And then it also has one of like the British Isles. Okay. And so I was like, okay, it'd be actually really cool to somehow try to make this model something like uh, like the King Arthur Tales. Oh. Yeah. you can even like change the characters names. Right. And it like has just the right atmosphere of being both like medieval but also magical. And I was like wow this would, this would be really cool. And I started and I just like the more I did it the more I was like this is gonna take so much time. Yeah, it's daunting to make happen. Come on, Bruford. And uh, yes, one thing I kind of posted in the subreddit asking for was like, and if you a bunch of people agreed was like, if we could be able to, if essentially if you could like outsource it or like collaborate and have other people make levels which you could then like import into your campaign and edit and edit yeah yeah that would if, be crazy but as it is right now you have to do it all on one system sure and like you can't download a map and then use it in a campaign so that's just so much work to do on your own yeah you could essentially only that's a lot get help by play testing like people could test it for you but that's it right but i got super excited about it and then super like Hold on, I'm in, I'm in way over my head if I try to right. do this all myself. Yeah, that's, but it was I such mean, a cool idea. That's a big part of why the, you know, that first Mario Maker project just didn't finish. It's just, it's so much work. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously not the biggest priority in my life. Exactly. Nor was it in 2015 or whatever that was. Was it that long ago? Holy cow. Yeah, 2015, I think, was when the first one came out. I really wish there was a way I could import those levels into Mario Maker 2 mm. and add new bells and whistles that the new game has, like slopes and, you know, different gizmos and stuff like that. That would be awesome. But there's not a way to do that. Is Mario Maker 2, like, definitively better from what you can tell? Um, the only thing so far that I've noticed that I'm not sure why it wasn't included again was in, uh, in Mario Maker 1, you could, you could set, uh, background blocks. So, it's hard to explain, but you could, you could set, like, you know, dirt, and the backdrop is, like, sky, right? Mm -hmm. But you could set dirt like as the background so that you could walk in front of it and it would look like you were inside of the ground yeah um and they took that away for some reason i don't know i don't know if it was just like too hard to place the blocks hmm. um but that's not in there anymore so you can't this you can't necessarily do a sandy underground kind of aesthetic anymore i mean you can do underground but you can't cover up the background oh. with anything other than the background. Okay. You know, you can't you can't place any blocks that you can walk through. Hmm. Hmm. It's it's not like it's it's purely aesthetic. It doesn't function really in any way. Mm hmm It would just be an aesthetic thing. But I liked it a lot. That dude looks like a shitty boss if he's an executive. <laughs> Someone you wouldn't want to work for? No. All right, it's time to face Price, the old man with the ice. This is number seven. This is number seven. Holy cow! Yes. We are after this is clear. Along. Um, I had a pretty good idea recently, Vaughn. What's that? What if you had a speed dating 
thing where everybody got chips. Like different types of chips. You're talking like you're going to eat them. Potato chips, yeah. Okay. And you like go around and you have a little snack and you meet, meet, greet, and eat. You could call it the singles Pringle Mingle. <laughs> The singles Pringle Mingle. Wouldn't that be great? I'd go to that. <laughs> if I could. <laughs> oh, Meiji man. Meat, Kafka. Air Smooch. Nice, dude. That's a name. And I will bring. Where's Airbud, oh. Alvin? We're going to bring the bottom row Where's here. Airbud unavailable Air Bud. for. Somebody could, started a rumor that they were going to remake Airbud. Why would they? I was like, why would you start that rumor? And yeah, why would they do that? <laughs> wow, this is a really this cool... This place looks like a refrigerator. Yeah. It's got like the stuff at the top and the... Is this supposed to be in the clouds? No, I think that's supposed to be like cold air. Oh. Uh. Like we're in like a giant walk-in. <laughs> gunk, 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 gunk. It's like some frozen meat off on the side yeah hanging on hooks <laughs> well i might regret this but i'm gonna use rain dance oh because it'll make his water moves stronger. yeah we'll see if he use luckily kingler's uh special attack is not very high he's gonna, Vice he's gonna try to use some normal type attacks which aren't gonna do shit smart i can't believe we're faster than so many pokemon Magneton is not a fast Pokemon. Yeah, we've been outspeeding like the majority of the time. I know, it's crazy. See ya, Air King. Whoa! Yeah. Bye bye. What is that? Is that guy supposed to be a He's snowboarder? Supposed to be a snowboarder, yeah. Did snowboard kids? Dude, that game's so good! I was like thinking about it lately. The soundtrack is just it's banging. Really it claps. It claps. It's so good. It's really good. All that, like, Europop stuff, it's so well done. Whoever made that soundtrack was definitely listening to some, like, Electropop mm -hmm. from Europe. And I don't know how they figured out that that was going to work well for that game, but they were onto something. Lost the edge there. He said the exact same thing after the first Pokemon. <laughs> That's just all of their character flaws. All right, we, they, we cannot. They have the same. They just use the same catchphrase every time. <laughs> you get irritated of it. Well, let's see how Hidden Power does against this guy. We can't use Thunder. A strange move. Wow. Nice. Gone. Swineup's pretty weak. So, uh, did Meiji Meet just delete? <laughs> he did. That he squad? just swept the snowboard kid. Wow. Yeah. Nice job. Dude, Mangy Meat is a beast. He's tough. He's very strong. It's very tough. He runs into trouble if he doesn't have a move that's super effective, but luckily he has big defenses to back it up because he resists almost everything. Mm hmm. Only three this time. That's right. They have like varying numbers. Yeah, it is random. Now we got the skier girl. She's be cute. She's cute, yeah. <laughs> she is. Carol. Aww. Oh, she's got a bunch of cute Pokemon, too. Um, wow, we could pretty much Meiji Meat sweep again. <laughs> so we might as well. I'll bring Diabetes just in case Dratini is really scary. Um, and we'll bring up Kefka with some Thunderbolt backup. That's an interesting. Yeah. Interesting choice in that lineup. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what the Cubone is supposed to foil. Other mm -hmm. than my my mangy meat. But I got a move for Cubone, so. Do you? Yeah. Which Grass Hidden Power. Mm. Yeah. It's really nifty that mangy meat's hidden power happens to be grass. So I don't care if I'm powering you up. Are you going to switch? Okay. That's fine. Who are you going to bring out? Cubone? I ain't scared. <laughs> Yeah, yep, there's Cubone. Called it. Well, we're gonna use Rain Dance so that we can use our Grass type hidden power. Because you know setup. that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's really for an atmospheric effect. Yeah, yeah. We just need the mood to be right. And I bet because he's a first 
form Pokemon, we're going to outspeed him. Yeah. Yep. I was going to I was going to say it'd be Cubo now. Shocked. Call now. More like dead Cubo now. now. Oh, he oh. did. He did survive. Don't do it. He's going to use an ice move. You brought out your Cubone just to use an ice move. Wow. Wow. 13 damage. What a waste. Dude, this Oh, our speed's down. These uh these trainers are killing it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I wanna, I'm wanna. i inclined to say that all of round one is just going to be stupidly easy, but mm -hmm. it, it could get tough at the end with, like, the rival and the Elite Four. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But I'm very scared about what round two is It hasn't bring. quite seemed like a an increase of it's difficulty. Been a pretty, it's been pretty steady. Pretty steady, yeah. But I like it, the momentum. Yeah, it's, it's nice to get, get the momentum going. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Because uh, <laughs> Stadium One. Oh my god, dude. There's not much momentum. It's tough. To carry us forward. It's really tough. And strategy is just so different different in in every fight. In red, blue, yellow. There there was so there was so little you could do to like change up your strategy. Oh, I didn't notice that the two uh Magnemites, Magnemites on the left and right only have one of the screws. Oh really? Yeah. And then the top like the guy has one. both. Yeah, the left one has the left screw, the right one has the right screw. That's neat. I wonder if that detail was reflected in the original sprite work or if yeah. that was added for this game. Delibird. Here's a weak Pokemon. <laughs> weak looking. It is. Delibird is really, really bad. Looks like something out of Zelda. Reminds me of, uh, what's the, what's the... It reminds me of Virgil from Mighty Max. Virgil from Mighty Max? Yeah. If he had a different color scheme. Later, dude. The owl. Yes. Reminds me of the owl. Oh, Kapora Gabora? Yeah, with the eyes. Virgil especially. from Mighty Max was also an owl. Okay. Even though Delibird's supposed to be a penguin. Wow, look at him again, just Dude, yeah. crushing him. Get the broom out. <laughs> Delibird also looks like he could be in, like, Diddy Kong Racing or something. Mm -hmm. All right, Price. Price is mad. We'll wait till next week. How about that? Yeah. Next week, a we'll good face time, Price, the angry, angry, angry man. Cut you loose. He was a really cool character in the manga. I've talked about that many times before. Um, until then, more Star Wars on Monday. Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer race on Wednesday. It's Me a long name. Versus Bracky. It is, but it's it's a, it's a illustrious series. If you had to make me pick, I don't know who I'd choose. I don't know who to root for. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know whose corner you're in yet. No, it's tough. It's a tight heat. It's and it's and it's, it's only a close battle. getting getting tougher. Yeah. yeah. Stuff's starting to break wide open. We're in go mode, as they say. Right. Well, well, we're not technically, but whatever. It's Anyways, pretty exciting, folks, though. You can hop on uh, Discord or Instagram in the meantime and see Maybe what's Twitter. going on. Yeah. And we'll meet you there. Hit us up. Yeah.